This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We're now sitting in the middle of the Falcon, but in this video, we're going to talk about the Model 3 SR Plus. Well, or it used to be called SR Plus, but it's a 60 kilowatt hour with LFP battery. I finally did it, a Colgate test. So let's just roll the tape. You see that um, to the left there, we have cold battery, 10 degrees Celsius only versus the hot battery. And I also include Model Y, also with cold and hot battery, you see the difference. And you see that the Model Y has the LG battery, not LFP, and it can actually charge at decent speed even when it's pretty cold. And that one in combination with, uh, you see the Model Y is, uh, is a dual motor. So you have front and the rear motors or so the stators are generating more power and uh, heat. Whereas the SR Plus, which is only rear wheel drive, and then we're charging at only 25 kilowatt, which doesn't build up much heat. And then we only get three, three and a half kilowatt uh, from the battery heater or well, the motor. And because of that, you see that the, the heat goes up way slower. So the, the, the coal SR Plus started with higher temperature than the coal Model Y, but the Model Y is already at 24 degrees Celsius versus 16 degrees. So it goes up really slow. And also this is like a bad uh, spiral because the Model 3 SR Plus um, uh, charges quite slow and then with low power on the battery heater it picks up speed slower whereas the Model Y with a bigger battery uh, took more speed uh, higher power charging uh, charging power but also has uh, more heating power so then it's like a good spiral it builds up heat way faster and you can see now we have 35 degrees versus only 21 degrees and then when we look at the hot sessions by the way uh, even though the SR plus is smaller it seems to be able to keep up with the model Y in in percentage at least so you see uh, when the battery is nice and hot then it it actually performs quite well and uh, let me see uh kilowatt wise yeah around at around 60 uh, percent it takes 75 kilo yeah so that that's good but uh slowly now at least the coal battery uh sr plus starts heating up and there is no steps here unlike the korean car so um as the battery heats up you will just get more and more charging power so yeah now we're starting to see at least something is going on here we get almost 70 kilowatt on the coal sr plus battery and uh, we just build up again it's again the, the, the positive spiral once we have more heat then we can even build up more heat because the the battery also heats up by itself by charging it um but also just let me point out something here if you look at the percentage on the top there you see that the sr plus with a hot battery is already over 70 percent the same with the hot uh, model y battery and then the the coal model y is not that much behind it's around 12 percent behind but the coal sr plus battery is really really far behind and again now you can clearly see the disadvantage of uh, sr plus uh, sr yeah or the, the lfp battery but again if you live in sunny california if you live in thailand this is not going to be a problem <laughs> the battery will never hit 10 degrees celsius over there it will probably stay at 20 degrees and then it's way better and of course uh, what you also should do to avoid this situation is to charge up the battery um uh, on ac preferably or if you have to fast charge and do it in the evening before and then so don't uh, uh, don't uh, get in the situation where you start a day with cold battery and 10% and you have to fast charge as the only option. So this case I show you here is actually more like uh, I was about to say corner case, but the most clumsy way to do it and you can do there are so many ways to avoid ending in this situation. But I just show you what would happen in case this would occur and then you see the result now but one thing though is that okay um the hot batteries they're actually about to hit uh, 90 percent well wow is the sr plus going to beat model y uh yeah seems like it well it's smaller battery so very impressive the sr plus one is you see when the when the battery is nice and hot the LF, lfp battery it has uh, outstanding performance it can take a lot of beating it can actually charge faster than the, the lg battery uh, yeah i will show some of that but um okay i actually went past 90 percent a little bit oh, okay on the model y i did I actually also on the, on the hot batteries i did but uh, one thing that you start seeing now is that as the sr plus the, the coal session slowly heats up it actually starts picking up momentum and at this point it's charging <coughs> it's charging faster than the hot session did uh, i'm gonna show some uh, graphs soon <coughs> but uh, okay how far did it actually go with these hot sessions i wonder if i went for 100 percent but just to show you how slow it is but yeah yeah so now actually you see now the the, the coal model y versus the coal model 3 you can see that suddenly the coal model 
Model 3 is slowly inching up on the Cole Model Y, huh? Really? Really? It, look at that, it's charging like a boss now. It's as if we kind of used up this, um, uh, the, the quota on how fast we can charge, but then towards the end, because we were charging so slow with the Model 3 as a plus, then it can actually allow the battery to go faster. But okay, so that took some time. We are about to finish 90% now, but you can see it really took a long time if you want to go to 90%. Uh, the other, the hot batteries, they will actually hit almost 100%. Yeah, pretty much 100% by the time the cold battery hits 90%. So big difference there. And now you can look at the data. So uh, yeah, I have a bunch of other cars here, not too relevant, but uh, the one you want to look at is this one. See, uh, this is a cold session and this is the hot session for the Model 3. And it started up, uh, okay, versus the hot session, then big difference, goes really slow. And you see that uh, it takes a while. Well, this is uh, based on state of charge, uh, not time. I also have some other uh, uh, sessions there, but let me just show you that, uh, okay, it did actually hit, what was the top speed here? Uh, 87 kilowatt seems to be the max speed, and then it starts dropping. But uh, look, uh, no, no, actually, we can already see it here, 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 here. At around, yeah, almost at 60%, then suddenly the cold session charges roughly 10 kilowatt faster than the hot session, huh? I had no idea it was like that. You see here? Even at 80%, yeah. Even at 80% it's roughly 10 kilowatt faster, but then of course it evens out uh, towards the end here. Uh, and then and that one went faster, yeah. And then I can show the, this one is also interesting. We have the temperatures. So again, uh, the starting temperature of the, of the Model Y versus the, the SR Plus, and you see we started with 11%, but you will see that um, the, the Model Y seems to be faster at heating up. Now we have minutes here, not the state of charge. Uh, see, after just uh, two minutes, we start increasing the temperature, whereas the, the, the SR Plus needed uh, roughly four minutes before something started happening there. And also I include this one, which is AB, uh, the afterburner. So um, uh, I just call it the afterburner. But here we try to estimate how many kilowatt went into heating the battery. But I don't know how much of this was also added as, um, or if if the car used the heat pump to heat, heat up the battery, because I've seen it do that. Uh, I've seen sometimes the, the afterburners will, will be off, but the car is still heating up the battery via the heat pump, which is more efficient, but slightly slower. Uh, and then I'm going to show you guys the graphs instead of looking at this. So here we have, where can we go more up? Okay, yeah. So um, yeah, <laughs> the, the LFP started bottom slow. It was just dog slow. And then it slowly built up the speed to the point where, yeah, you see uh, at around 60%, right before 60%, then the charging curve goes beyond this, the, the, the hot session and even higher than the Model Y. And this is just in, in pure kilowatt numbers. And remember that the LFP battery is, is uh, smaller. So I have to say it has a very impressive speed. So, okay, it, it goes slow. It has a slow start until almost 60%, but then it has a very nice comeback. So in the case where you want to charge with 90%, then maybe the difference is not that, that big. I have more data to show you guys, just showing you visually what it looks like. And here I can also show that the Model Y, uh, which is this one, yeah, I have to look at the colors. Yeah, so the Model Y uh, starts at way higher uh, state, uh, so kilowatt, even if the battery is cold. And that one helps it um, being able to maintain okay speed. So yeah, interesting what these two battery chemistries look like, even though both of them are in a Tesla. And then here we see, uh, why, why is it scrolled down? Okay, this one is then the battery temperature. And I also included the, the afterburner, so I just put them in there. Yeah, there should be another axis here and all that. But um, you see that um, one interesting thing is that um, the the red one here is the model y and the, the model y because it has a more powerful battery heater capability it doesn't need to run the battery heater for too long whereas uh was this around 20 minutes yes whereas the sr plus with rear wheel drive only needs to run it for about half an hour so we're talking about 20 minutes versus a half an hour yeah 50 percent longer time but also the temperature on the lfp seems to go up slower uh, yeah actually it doesn't seem it is going up slower so even though the the model y started uh, uh, colder temperature here, just zoop, zoop, like crazy. So, yes, interesting now. And then the last one I'm going to show you is this. So, here we have more data. Um, starting temperature on the cold session 
and uh, versus uh, yeah um, starting okay we're not too interested to look at the hot one at least but but one thing I want to point out here is that uh, I calculated how much efficiency or how much losses do we have so um, this is what was reported from the charger from the ABB charger whereas these numbers here by the way is from the supercharger and they don't have uh, decimals so I don't know exactly how many kilowatt hours we're receiving and also I don't know if you can trust them 100% uh, because actually what you see um, what was it again yeah I have some numbers here on the on the model Y session uh, the car actually reported receiving 60 kilowatt hour according to the screen, the, the charger screen in the car. And then the charger, the ABB charger at Circle K reports 65.3 kilowatt hour. But then um, uh, the, the battery received 56.7. This is based on the, the remaining, uh, in, in, according to scan my Tesla. So you see, started wondering, can we actually trust this number then from Tesla? Okay, whatever. But just showing you that <laughs> numbers can be a little bit confusing. But anyway, the juicy part or the essence here is that the SR Plus, which is coal, actually has uh, lower losses than the Model Y. Like, huh? Was that, how, what, what, how is that possible? Well, one thing is that the battery heater on the Model Y was actually active for longer. And uh, I don't know if you saw it, but uh, the Model Y was also going way hotter than the, the well, you can see it here. No, 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 it's easy to see it uh, here, here, here. You see that? Uh, the LFP uh, battery goes to around 40, how is this, uh, can you see there, uh, 48 degrees, whereas uh, the LG battery goes to a staggering 58 degrees Celsius. So eventually, of course, the, the Tesla also needed to uh, cool down the battery so it won't overheat. Uh, it seems like it just, it sprints pretty fast, fast now, pretty quick to 58 degrees to get the optimal uh, speed. And then in order to maintain it here, it needs to then activate cooling. Whereas here, it seems like it takes longer for it to reach this one. And then I guess it, I don't know if it activates cooling or something here, or it just charges slow towards the end. But um, yeah, so that's why I suspect that um, uh, the Model Y is spending a lot of energy just to heat it up quite quick and then cooling it. And that's probably why. Yeah, because this was actually counter uh, uh, logical for me because I was thinking uh, the SR Plus needs more energy and it will waste more energy when it's cold. But of course, I can also show you that when we have the hot session, then the battery was already heating, uh, heated up. So it doesn't need to add that much extra heat. Maybe some of this is also cooling anyway. Uh, but also, um, to my big surprise again, um, the Model Y hot session is less efficient than the Model uh, 3 SR Plus. <laughs> huh? Can you guys explain this? Oh, actually, no, no, you know what? It could be um, round of error because this could be 56.5 kilowatt hour and this could be 69.5 maybe. And then I guess if you count that one, if you count measurement error, then the losses here and this one and this one could be more or less the same. So we can't draw any conclusions there. But then, okay, the last thing I want to show you guys is that um, here we have the time. This is okay. I kind of I'm lacking some units, but this is in minutes. And one thing you want to see is that we see okay here uh, just to reach 20%, it took 12 minutes on the SR Plus call, whereas only two minutes when it's nice and hot. Whereas when you see the Model Y here, then this is no big deal really. Uh, two minutes versus four minutes. Um, but, uh, so we, we're talking about just two minutes difference and okay, four minutes different, five minutes, okay, a little bit. And then the diff here is uh, nine minutes. Okay, it's not that much, but, but uh, I guess in percentage, this one is just humongous and same here. But as we heat up the battery and the speed uh, picks up, then you see that towards the end, the difference, especially to this one, I guess, is not that uh, big. So, uh, oh, okay, uh, time-wise, actually the hot and the, uh, yeah, the, the Model 3 and the Model Y, they have the same 39 minutes. But yeah, to my big surprise, again, you see here that the SR Plus and the Model Y, they ended up with roughly the same time to 90%. So I guess huh, if we would continue to 100%, maybe the, the Coal SR Plus would actually win over the Coal Model Y. Because uh, maybe one thing I haven't shown you guys too much is that, um, 
here the the hot session versus the cold session of model y for some reason the model y with the lg battery uh, the cold session was never able to catch up with the hot session whereas when, when i did the same with um, volvo then it was like yeah it was like that but then huh, for, some, for some reason the lfp battery went beyond it unlike the volvo so uh, yes now you guys have seen it lots of data <laughs> do you find it interesting and uh, what do you guys think huh, the lfp so again like i'm pointing out because i i need to say this many many times otherwise people are gonna haters gonna be like oh, ev suck and uh, lfp suck no it doesn't really listen it doesn't because this is corner case i did everything purposely wrong just to see what could happen uh, if you i mean if you're super clumsy and you don't have home charging yes you might run into this situation where you park the car for the night uh, with 10 percent battery and then for the, some reason next day you want to fast charge but there are so many ways for you to avoid this charge it up fast charge it up in the evening if you don't have home charging or if you're on a trip Ch slow charge at the hotel or at home uh, whatever there are so many things you can do to avoid this uh, and then if you even start with 30 percent 20 percent in the morning you don't need to charge it right away because teslas are very efficient and they have uh pretty much uh, they have good range so even if you don't start with 10 percent if you start with 20 30 40 percent you can then start driving and then by the time you have to charge uh when you have five or ten percent left then the battery will be way warmer and then you will get by the speed and this so what you saw here was worst case scenario and then this happens yeah actually well okay maybe not worse worst case scenario would be when the battery is minus 10 minus 20 degrees celsius but i just didn't have time to test it now plus that my test here is more standardized and i want to do this throughout the year with other battery types also that's why i chose 10 degrees celsius as the starting temperature so yes i think that's going to be it for now i hope you guys enjoyed this video as always thank you for watching and talk to you later